Hey folks, welcome to episode two. Thank you to the zero subscribers I have for being awesome. Please ignore the chickens, they have a lot to say today. We are going to be working on a Massey Ferguson 461. This is 2005, and I was doing some loader work with it not too long ago, and the front wheel decided it was going to try to fall off. So I have had this apart before. Um, took the cover off and found that a nut that threads onto the front wheel drive shaft that essentially holds this entire hub on split. And the only thing keeping the wheel from falling off was a uh, snap ring. So let's uh, rip into this. It's going to be probably pretty horrible. Okay, first things first, got to remove all these front bolts on this cover here. It'll expose a planetary gear set. Okay, and we'll remove the cover, a little punch, chisel rather, okay, I've already drained all the oil out of this, it takes a tractor specific gear lube, and you can see the planetary, well, the planets anyway, come out with this cover. Let's have a look at what's inside. So there's your typical planetary gear set setup. So this nut back here, you can see, has a crack in it. That's fantastic because it allowed this entire hub assembly to walk off of its bearing race and begin to ride on this steering knuckle. And I'll show you later how it mushroomed over the uh, part of the knuckle. As I said earlier, the only thing holding this whole assembly from falling off was this snap ring. So these babies are severely underrated. So we're going to go ahead and remove the snap ring and not fire it across the yard. The next thing I'm going to do is get this nut back off of here again. I'm going to pull this whole hub off. So I'm basically going to take a punch and my hammer. Actually, I don't need to. This thing's damaged, so it's just coming right off. Another thing, I'm going to take off my center gear here and put it inside with the other planets in the correct orientation. Chickens, I love you, but could you please go away for a little bit? Let's get this off here. I couldn't believe that when I saw it. The whole dumb thing just cracked. Lovely. You know how much that costs? That's a $50 nut. 50 bucks. Why? Thankfully it didn't destroy anything inside here. I think this will come out. Actually, not. I think I have to take the entire body off. Okay, there we go. So in a nutshell, what happened is, whoop, oh, yep, it's coming off. That nut allowed this to come down and start riding on this area here. When it did that, it mushroomed over that knuckle that's what you want to call it. So I think I have some really good news. Um, it looks like this seal, this lip, I thought was integrated into this hub. I'm sorry, this knuckle, but it looks like that's all part of the seal. So I can leave this on here without having to worry about ripping it off, which is a huge relief. And I think I can pry this seal off and replace it. So, let the games begin. With a little experimentation, I have this pry bar with a curve on it, and probably not supposed to, but I'm using the bearing outer race to help me pry. And look at that. The 
whole thing's coming out. That is awesome. I shouldn't celebrate yet, because with my luck, something's gonna happen. Like, you know, wreck the bearing. Oh, there we go, look at that. That's, would you just look at it? That is fantastic. Now for a little cleanup. Probably gonna end up filling this up, running it for a while, and then uh, change the fluid. Brake clean and uh, some shop towels, and we're pretty well cleaned up. Uh, took a wire brush to the splines and to the engagement here in this area. Took a look at all the rollers and they look really good actually. I don't see any spalling, galling, mauling, whatever else you want to go with. Uh, let's take a look at this parts list. <clears throat> so we've got the seal to replace what we discussed earlier. I've got this seal, which I don't think I'm going to need. Um, I think that went between the knuckle and the axle. So thankfully this was the cheapest part at 25 bucks. And we've got this race to replace this guy over here. This is the part that was rubbing on the outer edge of that seal. You can see how nasty it is. So this will take care of that. So we've got those. We have that nut, which was 50 bucks, like I said earlier, lovely. And then lastly, a new snap ring. So this two pound box of parts was $325. I mean, seriously. Tractor parts, I'll tell you. So this is the oil they sold me, or the gear lube, whatever you want to call it. Legacy Universal Tractor Fluid. Basically they said that uh, I don't need to use the Permatran, which is what all the newer Masseys use. And this is at a Massey dealer. So I'm going to go with what they said because it was also half the price. So we're going to do a little lubricant for this before we get the seal on here because we don't like lubricant. That way maybe the seal will go on a little bit easier. I'm sure there's a Massey Ferguson 2118.195 installation tool specific for this application, but I think a uh, 2x4 and a hammer will do just fine. So I got the seal started with a little bit of persuasion and uh, just using a 2x4 so as to not warp anything or try to prevent warping things. We'll just go side to side and bit by bit probably get to a point where I need a different precision tool. So I think that point is now. Precision tool number two. Smaller board. This is working nicely. Now that we have the new seal on, we we'll work on getting this ring off. It says to use a cold chisel and split it, but um, I think I'm going to use our trusty burns o -matic there and see if I can just heat it off and slide it off. Heat it up and slide it off. Well, they, you know what they say, uh, don't be afraid to try new things. So heating didn't work. And I tried the cold chisel method, and would you look at that? Heating may have helped, split it in half, but that's that. Check this out. This ring is actually rubber on the inside. I think they must do that for installation purposes. <clears throat> Excuse me, going through puberty here. I don't know, comment below if you've ever seen something like that. Um, so I put some of the gear oil on there, and we'll just see if it slides right on. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's just going right on there. We'll use our trusty 2x4. I 
I used the old one, set it on top, and gave it a few taps. So we are in good shape. I ran out of brake clean, so I switched to gasoline because gasoline is an awesome solvent. Cleaned up the bearing surfaces, uh, cleaned up the planetary gear set, the carrier. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Uh, I'm going to start reassembly here shortly. Tap it on there this time. Okay, that looks good. A couple more for good measure. thrust washer on there. And now, I believe we're ready for the nut. So, we'll just get it started anyway. If I can find the threads. Hopefully you can still see. Oh, somebody must be here. That's my dog, Hercules. He's just a big, vicious beast. Thing distorted. Yeah, this thing doesn't even look like it's fully round. Lovely. All right, I'm gonna work on that. So what I did, I took this whole thing back off again. That gave me good access to this, and I basically got it on there. Um, sort of, I guess, fit it on there. Okay. Um, there's a burr. I got past the burr. Everything's good. So I got to work on torquing it down. I don't have the tool to torque it to 380 newton meters. Holy cow. So I'm going to try a punch um, to at least get it set. And then I will maybe look at the actual tool to torque it down. So I think I'm going to call it for the day uh, because, like I said, it's getting kind of late. So we will see what happens. You know what? <clears throat> to heck with it. I've got a small handheld sun. We'll just put that on the situation. Let's finish it up. We need to clean up the surfaces so that these babies are ready for some gasket maker. Also, I apologize for the constant vacuum cleaner in the background. I have wasps that have invaded part of my house. And the best way that I've found to get them out is a vacuum cleaner. So I get a shop vac, I get all my extensions, put that baby up to the nest, and suck them all into the machine. So I'm going to caulk that up this, this fall. Alright, back again. I had some company stop by. Get some towel. I don't have any brake clean, so we're going to use rubbing alcohol. Clean up the surface. So our RTV sticks. Same thing. Costco had a sweet deal on shop towels, so my wife stocked me up for a while. I just put a bead right around the rim there, smoothed it out with my finger. Some people like 15 to 20 pounds of RTD on their stuff. It's not really that necessary to have so much. So, there we go. 
probably fast forward this part so it's not so boring. back again. So what we're going to do now is remove the fill plug slash drain plug. It says to fill it at 3 o'clock until the fluid runs out, but my plan is to drop it in the dirt, make sure you destroy... Oh. Yep, that's good. That's what paper towel are for, right? But what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill it up at the 12 o'clock and then I'll just turn it to the 3 o'clock and see if the uh, fluid starts to run out. So, surprised how thin this stuff is. Doesn't really seem like gear loop. Seems more like 5W30. So at this point, my handheld sun is starting to lose its juice. But let's see what we can do here. That's about three o'clock. Not enough yet. All right. Go back to 12 o'clock. Okay. Check it yet again. Okay, there we go. Finally. Plug and gasket. Put that baby in there. Tighten her down. Our TV has been sitting for probably, I want to say two hours, maybe three hours. It says working strength in 15 to 20 minutes. Full cure, 24 hours. All right, let's get some good circulation in there. Okay. All right, next step. Put the wheel on. So I found another small collapsed sun to help us out. After a little grunt work, put the wheel on there. Put these big big babies on here. It's kind of what they look like. I don't know if you can see, it's dark. <clears throat> Let's fire this beast up. Put it down. It's late. We have the wheel on. The tractor runs. It's 
currently, what time is it? 12.29 a.m. All right, way to go. So thanks for uh, sticking with me here and hanging out and fixing some stuff. See ya.